Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed December 15, 2016, 1.55 a.m. Wow, 10 days to Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's going to be a great, great, great 2017 for all of us. Even those who don't want Trump, you will benefit from him. It'll benefit you in many ways, and before it's over, you will be happy that he's your president. But let me tell you about some of the bad news that's going on right now. Of course, you still have the riots going on, and you have people like Searles. You have people like Hillary Clinton in the establishment on both sides in the Democratic Party for the most part, they're all footing the bill to keep this crap going on. You're teaching our children how to be model students and model people who can go into this world and bring about even more capitalists as far as self-employed, as far as bringing money and jobs and people into the market. Yeah, you're teaching them right opposite of that. You're teaching them to do nothing but create problems. And you, you who's doing that should be charged for it. And I think all of you who's putting in a dime or a dollar or a million, that you should be charged. Shame on you. You're hurting the younger children who are out there. Instead of going to school and learning, they're learning how to behave badly because of you. But let me tell you, all the threats that's gone out against Donald Trump, guys, don't worry about those. Remember, God put Trump in. If God put him in, he has a job to do. And as long as he has a job to do, he'll do it until what God has Trump planned to do until all of those things have been fulfilled to God's satisfaction. But what is hurting God or actually hurting you is for God to watch these children behave the way they are and you're the ones that's causing it, and you will pay. Okay, Attorney General Loretta Lynch turned her head every which way but straight. It's not constitutional. She did a lousy job, and even she may have charges brought against her. I promise you, the new Attorney General, my opinion, but I'm, I'm not stupid all the time, just sometimes, but I believe the new Attorney General will bring charges against Hillary because, maybe you didn't know this, new email leaks that are damaging, I mean damaging. And, and these, there's no way she can just, like what difference does it make? That's still in my crawl. These are going to hurt her. And their little treasure tre chest they have, their, their fund, it's all stolen money, guys. All bribe money, guys. And Lynch knew that, and she didn't do anything. Well, Donald Trump's attorney general, he's not going to turn a blind eye to, to any of this. Look, you establishment congressmen and senators, or you establishment Republican House, you need to clean up your act quickly. That milk money you're taking that source is drying up for you and you will be discovered and found out and you will have charges brought against you. 
this is coming. Look, God is not going to put Trump in blindly. He's going to show Trump a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And people are not going to get off scot-free for what they've done for the last eight years or longer. As far as the establishment being going on for 30 years. The new attorney general, y'all just prepare. You're going to see, like you've never seen, you're going to be charges brought up. And these people are just going to simply be, have warrants sent out in every direction. Make your head spin. Multiple warrants for Clinton and her treasure chest. Multiple warrants for the Senate, Congress. Federal employees that worked under these people that knew some of this stuff look for warrants. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just this much. And then I'm hearing once again, a lot of you guys out there in the political arena has visited more than once a site called Ashley Madison based out of Canada. Someone hijacked it, as you all know, and they hold that list of names. And they, more likely than not, will release a number of those names. I'm just telling you, prepare. All what you're doing today, trying to destroy Trump, it still cannot hurt him. It's like trying to take God out. I don't mean that in any way Trump is being within a billion miles of a God, our God. But when he's under God's protection, then he's protected by God. And he's not going to be allowed to be hurt or taken out. Remember, everything you throw at him is just building up. And then you kind of look at this list and suddenly realize that you're being charged. I hope that you people who are putting the bill to keep these college children stirred up and outside rioting, burning, stealing, looting, and even hurting people, you're going to pay for it, not them. God has Trump in here to do away with Roe versus Wade, put prayer back into schools, and a number of other things in which is going to prosper our country better than any of you have ever seen it unless you're over the age of 80. And prepare for that. Whether you like Trump or not, you're going to be blessed by Trump and what he did. You're going to, your lifestyle will improve. Every one of you that doesn't have a job, you will have a job. If you go early, you will have your pick of jobs. So think about that. Trump can't be hurt. There's nothing that can hurt Trump because to hurt Trump means that you won over God. And if you think that'll happen, then you're crazy anyway. Support Trump, I do, 100%. And for him to be friends with Putin is, is absolutely great. The new Secretary of State, an old man that knows the ropes, knows Putin, has worked deals in the past, will have deals worked out that'll benefit both countries. We'll have deals worked out that will benefit America and Mexico. Deals that will benefit China and America. 
in every other country that wants to work with us, with those who wants to fight, those who wants to stir us up on the inside and create havoc and cause our children to stand outside and do this mess. If you're making them children, then give them some ice cream, color book crayons and send them home and let them draw pictures of ugly things. But you're going to pay for what they're doing. And if you don't pay for it now, then you will pay for it when God asks you why you did it. Jody Wolf Exposed.